so many comments about Born to Lead. <laughs> Don't blame me though. Good song. Dig that song. One of my favourites. So yeah, so a lot of you have been asking me about Born to Lead. Um, gonna have to take it in pieces, alright? There's a lot to do. And obviously the solo is me and Rusty Cooley trading off. Now, the record label didn't put Rusty Cooley's name on the back of the album, but it is me and Rusty Cooley trading off. If you don't know who Rusty Cooley is, then he's slacking, alright? Rusty Cooley's the man, alright? Insane trader. So I'm gonna have to break this into pieces, um, but I'm gonna start with the intro, okay? I give it give it to you guys piece by piece, alright? Guys, before I get started, please make sure you go like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments what other videos you guys want me to do. Leave a comment because I get back to everyone. Uh, make sure you like, hit the like button, you know, it really helps me get my videos out there. I'm really trying to build my YouTube, so definitely help me out with that. Right, so here we go. Okay, so obviously I'm in, um, I'm in drop C right now. Um, I don't personally enjoy drop tunes very much these days, um, but I leave this guitar in drop C. Um, right, so um, the beginning we're going to be kind of outlining a what looks like a D minor seven arpeggio, um, but actually because we're in drop C, it's going to be C minor. But we're going to be on the high strings. So we're going to go seventeen, thirteen high string. Okay, now I like to use my pinky first for that. We're going to go 15, 13, B string. Exactly the same shape down an octave. So on the G string, 14, uh, 10, and then 12, 10, B string. Back up to 12. Then as we get to the G string again, we're going to go 10, 12, 14. And then back down again. So we have, then we're going to hit 12 on the D string, then 10 on the G string. Right, so we have this idea. Part, we're gonna go, it kind of looks like we're outlining like an F major 7 arpeggio. But in this case, we'll be looking at a D sharp major arpeggio because we're uh, in drop set. Um, so you have that kind of idea going on. Um, but we're gonna go 12, 8, 10 on the high string, 12, G string. Right, and then we've got, uh, after 12 on the G string, we've got 8 on the high string. Middle finger 10 G string, then 12 uh, G string. Then we've got 9, 10 on the G string. And then we're going to go 12 on our A string. Back to nine on the G string. Then I kind of do, do a little slide, 10 to 12. And then back, so we got. All together. And I'll do the little hammer on at the end. I just I can't help but do that. <laughs> it does actually do that in the song. Right, then we're gonna go to uh, kind of like an F major seven arch pedio shape. Again, like I mean how we have It's just a variation of the same arpeggio, just moving up higher. Um, so we're going to go 
18 fifth, uh, sorry, no we're not. We're gonna go 20, 17. Then we're gonna go 18, 17 on the uh, B string. Exactly the same thing down an octave, 17, 14, 15, 14. Uh, D string. You've got the kind of stranger things up as you open. Now when you're running through these, uh, when, when, when you're running through this part two, you really want to be careful when you're skipping those strings. If you watch my right hand. Yeah, you really want to be careful when you're skipping those strings. Then the last sort of descending up as your shape we've got here is going to go kind of like a... Kind of like outline a G uh, minor 7 arpeggio, but in this case an F minor 7 arpeggio. We're going to go 22, 18, 20, 18. Same it down an octave. Which is going to go 19, 15, 17, 15. That kind of idea. So we've run all together so far. And then the very end piece, well not the very end piece, but the next kind of descending up as you shape. It's identical to shape D, except start from 17, so we're going to go 17, 13, 15, skip a string, be careful of that skip, uh, 17, then 13 on the high string, then 15, 17. We just end on 14, so we have this, on the G string, so we have this. Just to recap so far. Right now for this sweet pick, we're gonna do kind of out like, like a D, or in this case C, minor triad shape. So we're just gonna go 17, 20, uh, uh, A string. Ring finger's gonna go 19, 19, two middle strings. Middle finger is going to go 18 B string. First finger is going to go 17 high string. Then we're going to hammer on to 22. I actually, on this song, I actually pick through everything. Um, so I'm actually going, uh, uh, I'm not picking the A string, I'm hammering. I'm going down, ham sorry, down, hammer, down, 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 pick. And then we're going to go down a three string shape. So you've got 17 high string, 18 B string, 19 G string. And then I'm going to kind of pick that 19 twice. So you get that, so you get like a double pick here. So we're going to go. Yeah. So when you put this up to speed, you don't really hear the double pick in terms of the note. It's more of like a rhythmic thing. It gives you that real like video game kind of vibe. The reason I do that, it just it helps me stay a little bit more in control and you just get that cool video again kind of vibe. Alright, and then we're going to move down. So after you go... Going to hop down to 15, 15, 12. Going to do a diminished arpeggio here. Um, then we've got our ring finger on 14, B string. Middle, uh, sorry, pinky's going to go 15, G string. Two notes on the G string, we're going to play 12, same string, 14 D string, 16 on the uh, A string, right? Let's give it a go. That's the whole intro part. Just before, obviously, the first... Just before the first arpeggio shape, 
Um, we've got some whammy bar action. There's just a couple of layers in there, so I'm basically just screwing around. I think back in the back then I did like uh, was highlighting the uh, second fret G string over the this harmonic. Just kind of shaking the whammy bar, doing the same with the D string probably, or just hitting both. Just get that kind of vibe going on. I think it drops there, and then, then you're into that. Alright, so the whole thing. Guys, there you have it. That was one of the, probably my favorite song that we ever did. That and um, Where Have You Been? They were there with my two, my two goatees. Um, I hope you enjoy that. Any more stuff you want me to, to teach, put it in the comments. All right? I make it, it takes me a long time to make content, um, but I do it when I can, all right? So leave me a comment down there, go like and subscribe. And guys, please, if you do one thing for me also, Go to JackieVincentOfficial.com Go to my homepage and subscribe to my mailing list. That way you guys get cool coupons from my store, secret stuff, um, emails from me, right? Alright, much love guys. Rock on. Woo!